Voy a pasar aquí. No ha comenzado todavía. Hello, Pedro. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Just very hot. <laughs> yeah, today it's a hot day. <laughs> it's so, uh, it's so hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Yes, yes. Today. It's so hot. And you? How are you? Uh, a little. Um, I'm in a uh, outside, casi. Almost okay. outside, casi. Estoy un poquito afuera, no estoy tan adentro del. Ya, no estoy muy adentro del, del cuarto, un poquito afuera. Okay, that's great. Eddie, welcome to the class. <laughs> It's good to see you. Hello, Raúl. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's good to see everyone. Well, thank you for connecting on time. Good job. Well, guys, today is our class number six. I'm going to share with you the class presentation. You will see it in a moment. <clears throat> so it's class number six. What day is today? Today is? What day is today? Today is Thursday, May 4th. Exactly. 2023. Thank you, Raul. Yes, class six, Thursday, May 4th, 2023. <laughs> Nice. We are going to continue with the topic of who's using who's in questions. You are going to learn about the weather and the seasons in English and also the present progressive. That's an important topic. Okay, so I'm going to read for you the lesson objectives. A ver si me leen uno cada uno. Pedro, the first one. Raúl, the second. And Eric, the last one. Pedro, in this class. Uh, in this class, you will learn to how to use possessive in order to describe belonging or things. Exactly. Or things. Great job. Raul, the second, please. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather system. That was perfect. And Eddie, for now. With uh -huh. the end of the of this class, you will be about to form system and using the using the present continuous. That's correct. Okay. Thank you for reading the lesson objective. Good. We are going to start today by practicing the verb the sentences with the verb to be but in negative and question form. <laughs> All the forms of the verb to be affirmative, negative, and question. Ya las estudiamos. Solo vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio de ordenar las palabras para hacer las oraciones de forma correcta. And this is the example. I not a teacher. Am sería la forma correcta. I am not a teacher. 
Ahora ustedes lo van a hacer en su cuadernito. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que escriban cuál es la forma correcta de la oración. Affirmative, negative, or question. En lo que lo hacen, voy a tomar asistencia. Hola, Chayu Chen. So please say present or here. Ok, Anderson, Alexander, Enriquez. Brandon, Eduardo, Chávez. Brandon, Eduardo, Chávez. Cristian, Vides. Edwin, Flores. Edwin, Aylán. Eric, Enriquez. Eric, Fernando, Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Eric. Uh, no sé, ahí escucho una interrupción, no sé de quién será. Como de una televisión. Okay. Um, Guillermo, sorry, Eric Ronald Rosa Martínez. Eric Ronald. Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Present. Thank you, Guillermo. Henry Iván García, Henry Jeremías, Hilda Gabriela Velasco, and Inés del Carmen, Jeremías Efraín, Carla Elizabeth, Carla Joana Sánchez, Carla Joana Sánchez, Noé, Noé Abisay Figueroa. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Norma Elizabeth Sonrío. Oscar René Alvarado. Pedro Miguel Pedro Miguel. Present. Rafael Antonio. Present. I am here. Thank you. Hello, I am here. Raúl Alfredo Castanel. Susana Guadalupe. Ok, Raúl. Susana Guadalupe. No, no falta. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Víctor Manuel Guardado. Present. Thank you, Víctor. William Alfonso Tadeo. ¿Alguien que no mencioné? ¿Alguien que no escuchó su nombre? Oh. Ok, thank you people for attending the class. Ok. Ok, did you finish writing the sentences? Are you finished? Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, no, I'm not, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. No. No. <risa> bueno, por los que se conectaron y no se acaban de conectar y no escucharon, van a escribir en el cuaderno la oración en, en ordenada de forma correcta. Ok, en lo que termina, just give me one minute, guys. Just give me a second. I will go for my coffee. <risa>
Great people. So, are you ready to share? What is the number one? I am not a teacher. The number two? She's not my mother. She is my mother. Yes, that's correct. She's my mother. She's my mother. Escuchamos bastante interferencia. Yo escucho como de una televisión. Okay, number three. What would be number three? Are the boys happy? Excellent. It's a question. And it's in plural. Are the boys happy? That's correct. Thank you. Number four. The girl is in the room. Thank you, Raul. There you go. Number five. We are not at home. It's negative, and that's correct. We are not at home. No, the next one. Sorry. Okay. What is the next one? My dad. It's a smart. Uh -huh. My mother. It's a what? A housewife. A housewife. My mother is a housewife. Uh, okay, the number seven here. She is not my sister. She's not, not my sister. sister. Uh, the number eight is a question. The teacher. Is the teacher. Is the teacher angry? Is the teacher angry? And the last one. The dog is in the kennel. That's right. The dog is in the kennel. Yes. Congratulations, guys. You are graduated today in the use of the bird to be. <laughs> so, congratulations. Very nice. So, we can continue uh, reviewing, just a review. With negative statements, it's the same as structure with the only difference that after the, the verb to be, we add not plus the complement. So, I'm going to write here in the chat some sentences and you make it negative. Okay? I will write it affirmative, you write it negative, okay? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? You are going to make the sentence negative, okay? It's going to be positive, you make it negative. For example, The first one, it is cold today. The second one, our house is big. Okay, type it in the chat, the negative sound, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uno, dos, uno, dos. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Sorry, guys, I had an internet problem. <laughs> so sorry. Let's see. Okay, so in the chat, I was, uh, yeah, I cannot see. No sé si ustedes pueden ver los mensajes que ya les había escrito. Sí, se logran ver. Porque yo ya no los veo, pero ustedes los tienen. Okay, voy a seguir escribiendo. What about your coffee, guys? Do you have your coffee with you today? Or later? Yeah. Oh, Eric is yeah. with something. Okay, remember, you're going to make the sentence pass negative. ¿Qué van a hacer? Las oraciones que les estoy poniendo las van a hacer negativa. Las que les estoy escribiendo aquí. <laughs> okay. Rafa is not angry. Guillermo is not sick. The supermarket is not empty. Okay. Teresa is not single. <laughs> <laughs> the last example, Victor is serious. The 
supermarket is not empty, the door is not black, Teresa is not single, Guillermo is not sick, Raul's glasses are not expensive, Victor is not serious. Ok, Eric, en este caso, solo es así como lo ha escrito Raúl. Victor is not serious. Usamos el apóstrofe y la S cuando queremos decir de que una cosa le pertenece a alguien. Por ejemplo, pudiéramos decir eh, Victor's dog or Victor's car. Victor's car is blue. El carro de Victor es azul. Victor's car is blue. Entonces usamos el apóstrofe y la S solo para indicar posición de algo. De algo. Sí, se puede usar un apóstrofe así como lo hizo, pero solo sería así. Victor's not here. Así. Así de Pero ahí es la contracción como Victor is. Ok, Pedro's son is not 15 years old. The supermarket is not empty. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Nice. Another one. It is cap is not red. The class is boring. In negative form. The word is The class is not boring. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you for participating in the practice. Good, so what goes next? Now, after practicing, we have the numbers. Do you remember that some days ago, we were practicing the numbers from 11 to 100? Entonces, yo voy a escribir el número, el número, y usted lo va a escribir en letras. Por ejemplo, example, yo aquí pongo el número 56. Usted va a escribir 56. ¿Verdad? Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. The number is 99. How do you write 99? Right. Hi. 90. Exactly. Very good. Okay. The next number is 102. Yeah, okay. 63. Yeah, okay, the next number is, what 
pero ya no les voy a decir. Ustedes me van a decir cuál es. What's the number? Eighty-seven. That's correct. Okay. The next number is. Two hundred and <laughs> okay, let's see. You have two, algunos dicen two hundred and four, otros dicen two hundred and two. Two hundred thirty four, that is the correct. Two hundred thirty four. Two hundred thirty four. Okay, the next number is. Tengan cuidado con el thirty. Lleva T H T H I R T Y. Yes, thirty one. Another number. Twenty A. Twenty A. Yes, that's correct. Good. Okay. So today we are going to use the numbers back to say the ages, las edades, ages. And we can see it in this conversation. It's a conversation between Emma and Jill. They are talking about their family members. So I'm gonna read them um, the conversation for you. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. So in this conversation, they are talking about two members of the family. We have the brother, James, and the sister, Tammy. And we can see some important questions. For example, we have, uh, what's his name? He's because his brother, right? También tenemos esta pregunta, la primera. Who's that? Who is that? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? What, the, what is the meaning of who's that? Who's that? Significa? ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es ese? What's his name? ¿Cuál es su nombre? James. Exactly. Y también aquí mire le dice, le dice, we call him Jim. Lo llamamos, lo llamamos, nosotros lo llamamos Jim. The next question, this is a very important question. How old is he? How old is he? What does this question mean? What does this question mean? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Exactly. Entonces, para preguntar la edad, para preguntar la edad, 
lo hacemos así. How old are you? How old is he? How old is she? How old is your sister? How old is your son? How old is your brother? How old is your father? How old are your children? Okay. Then we say that the, the, the age, he's 21. And aquí hay otra pregunta. What's he like? What's he like? What does this question mean? ¿Qué significa esta pregunta? What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? Exactly, Pedro, that's correct. ¿Cómo es él? ¿Cómo es él? ¿En personalidad o en apariencia? What's he like? Y luego le dice, I bet he's nice. Apuesto que es, que es agradable, que es nice. <ríe> que es buena onda. I bet he's nice. So what's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is nice and he's very smart. Very yeah. smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. So they are talking about their family. And that's what we are going to do today. Do you have your picture? Tiene la, la picture of your family? No. Les dije que la tuviera lista. Bueno, busquen una que tengan por ahí. Todos hoy tenemos una. Yo tengo una. Eh, eh, hay que mandarla al chat o algo así. No, no. La vamos a hacer así. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, en los grupos, en the break of rooms. Y allí van a hacer una conversación similar. Primero van a practicar. First, practice the conversation, this conversation. Primero van a practicar esta conversación que les, que les puse aquí. Después de practicar esta conversación, van a hacer su propia conversación. Usted enseña la foto y va a preguntar, who's that? Oh, he's my mother. Wow, she's beautiful. What's her name? Porque es ella, ¿verdad? Si es ella... Her. What's her name? Julia. Uh, we call her uh, Mama Julia. Oh, how old is she? She is 60, 60 years old. What's she like? As I bet she's uh, nice. Yes, she is, and she's very, um, she's very loving. Como cariñosa, she's very loving. And hard worker, muy trabajador, and she's hard worker too. And who's that? That is my niece, my niece Sofia. That's my niece Sofia. And says, Ay, no me uh, <laughs> there you can see my niece. Can you see my niece? Mi sobrina, my niece. She is my niece Sofia. <laughs> okay. She is only eight years old and she is the baby of the family. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. Esto van a hacer. Van a hablar de su familia. Van a, hacer, van a practicar primero esta conversación. Y después, after that, van a hacer su propia conversación. ¿Sí? Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No? No questions. No. Okay. Ahorita, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Solo que voy a mover a alguien.
Tienen que entrar a la salita. Ahí les va a aparecer un cuadrito y tienen que darle unirse. Ahorita vamos a ver. Eh, ya, ya la muestra. Presa. Um, hola, hola. Bien, aquí tengo uno. Uno, dos. No sé si la alcanza. Hola. Hello. Hello. Aquí tengo una. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Que quedamos primero la conversación. Ah, okay. uh, vale, sí. Ya dime la ticha que vamos a ver, me acuerdo. Es the uh, baby uh, of the family. Okay. Más o menos, pues. <ríe> si nos cuesta todavía bastante. ¿no? Sí, hombre. Pero vamos empezando. Más que ahora casi solo inglés, ¿verdad? Cuesta entender ah, un poco ya. más. Al pasar de este ya no va a bajar de inglés. Va que sí, va. Allí todo para uno, porque. <ríe> bueno, que sea ahí empujoncito, vamos ahí. No, hombre, y hay, hay otros teachers que, que solo inglés están hablando desde el principio. Sí, a mí me, coment... me comentaba un compañero mío, José, que, que él dice que la, la ticha que le ha tocado se enoja. <risa> se enoja, dice que de repente le dice, vaya, utilice el verbo tal. Y viene aquel y no lo puede conjugar, dice, va, tarea, tiene que hacer esto y esto y esto y el otro. Y así lo lleva. Ah, dice. Sí, de hecho, ah, algunos, no. bueno, algunos de los compañeros de ese grupo dice que están bien desmotivados porque no le hayan. Ah. Sí. Bueno, y con lo de la imagen, fíjate que yo, yo tengo una foto también en el Google Fotos. Hello. Hello. Did you practice the conversation? Hello. Hello, Hello. Hi, I'm Pedro. Did you practice the conversation? Hola. Hi. Yes, I did. Okay, you did. And um, the new conversation with the picture of your family? 
yo más o menos, mira, yo escribí cuatro preguntas. Ya comenzamos, pero todavía falto yo. Ok. ¿Cuál es su nombre? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cuál es su nombre? 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 ¿Cuál Oh, nice. How old is my, my baby? How old is your husband? How old is your husband? How old is your husband? Four. He is 34. Okay. He looks, he, I bet he's nice. Thanks. And your baby? What, what's her name? My, my baby is Valentina. Uh, that's a beautiful name. How old? The years old. The years old? Six. She's six. She's six years old. She's six. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Teresa. Can you ask Pedro? Pregúntale a Pedro. Again, para ver cómo está. Quiero decir como. Ella se llama. Uh, my family. Okay, that's your family. It's a big family. It's a big family. Uh -huh. yes. uh, esta foto es un poquito vieja, pero sí, uh, no es otra. It's an old picture. Another picture, I couldn't find another, another picture. <laughs> Pregunta la Teresita, ask him. Pregunta la Teresita. Vaya, espéreme que aquí tengo la imagen. Vamos a ver si, si, si le hay algo. Okay. What, what that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Uh, this, uh, this is my son, Miguel. His name is Miguel. Uh, and I, this is my wife. His name is Marie. Uh, a little baby. Um, his name is Rafael, and another, this is my daughter, my daughter, her name is Yo estaba hablando sola. I was mute con el micrófono apagado. Y así porque no me contesta. Ok, guys. So, could you practice? ¿Pudieron practicar? Could you practice? Ahí Rafa tiene problemas.
Ok. Sí, más o menos practicamos con, con Víctor, me tocó. Good. A ver, ¿quién le gustaría hacerlo? Les voy a poner aquí la imagen para que no les cueste. Solo tienen que reemplazar los nombres, la edad, por la de su familiar. Ok. Mm -hmm. Víctor. Sí. Ay, ay, Pedro. Cuidado, Víctor. Cuidado. Uh -huh. He's my son. And the picture? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> La mandé al WhatsApp, pero. Uh -huh. Pero el del compañero, no aquí. No, no, no. Ahí va. Vamos a ver. Se la manda, se la pongo. Uh, es, no puedo, no puedo. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. <risa> Who's that? A ver, alguien. Alguien uh, que. Si todos los, todos los que están conectados ahorita me dijeron asistencia, ¿verdad? Yes. Yo falté ahí. Rafael Antonio. Sí. En la lista. No, aquí está ya, Rafa. Ya estaba bien. Sí, yo lo puse. Ya está. Oh, ok, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. So, where is Victor? Ahí va. Ahí está, en la B en el WhatsApp. Ah, okay, yes, yes. Now I can see your picture. Okay, ya se la pongo. Ay, ay, wait, wait, wait. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Okay, the first. Question, Pedro, ask me, ask Victor. Uh, Victor, who is that, Victor? What's the person? Who is that? Who is that? Who's that? Uh, they are my family. And mm -hmm. she, is, she is my daughter. Siga preguntándole, Pedro. Uh, your daughter. ¿Y your daughter? ¿Y your daughter? ¿O your sister? No, my daughter. My daughter. What's her name? Mm. I'm sorry. And uh, uh, the little babies. Uh, Who is that? My little baby is, oh, oh, oh. is uh, her name is Adela. Adela, oh yeah, yeah. How old is she? Uh, ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old is she? Ah, uh, uh, he's, no, she's, 12, 12 years old. Okay, thank you. Uh, and your son? What is his name? Her name, his he, name is... What is his name? No. His name is Jonathan. Jonathan. How old is he? Um... Uh, He's 30, no, 13 years old. 13 years old. 13. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Thank, Thank you, Victor. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Applause. They did a big effort. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, vaya, vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a platicar aquí un poquito. Ok, ¿cuándo preguntamos las edades? Sí, en mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. How old are you? Significa... ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? Exactly. ¿O cuál es tu edad? Right? How old are you? Now, uh, you're going to practice this question. How old are you? And the answer is, I am. Y usted dice, ¿cuánto? How old, y como aquí depende, de, is your mother... ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Mm, ¿Por your mother? Oh, your mother she is. She is. is. Y usted dice la edad. Right? How old is your wife? Esposa, right? Wife or husband. Right? Entonces, si es wife, she If he the husband, he. Y luego, yeah. How mm. old are your children? ¿Cuántos años tienen tus niños? Your children. Y ahí lo va diciendo individual. My son is. My daughter is. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask, let's see, Raul, Raul Alfredo, Raul, how old are you? I'm sorry for the questions, this is just for practice, okay? <laughs> But I don't hear you, Raul. You need, ah, uh, yes. I am 42 years old. Great, thank you, Raul. And how old is your mother? She is uh, 61, 61 years, old. years old. My mother is 60. My mother is 60 and your mother is 61. Okay. Are you married, Raul? No, I married. No. No. No, you're not. Okay. Do you have children? Babies? Children? No. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Raul, for sharing. Let's see. Hey, Fernando. Yes. How old are you? Mm, I am 31. You are 31 and I am 30. You are older than me. <laughs> How old is your father? What? How old is your father? Uh, he is fifty uh, five. He is 55 years old. Okay, nice. Are you married, Eric? Yes. Yes, you are? Okay. How old is your wife? Thirty-four. Mm, She's 34. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Eric. Do you have children, Eric? Yes, yes. Oh, one or two? Two. Two children, uh, yes. uh, boys or girls? Uh, one boy and uh, one girl. And one girl, nice. You have one boy and one girl. That's excellent. <laughs> okay, how old is your son? Uh, 
my son is seven. And your daughter? Twelve. Sorry? Twelve. Twelve. Sí. Doce. Sí, twelve. Yes. Your daughter is twelve. Wow, they are big and you are very young. <laughs> you have to work hard. <laughs> hey, Victor. How old are you, Victor? I am 39. 39 years old. Years old. Okay. And uh, what is your wife's name? Uh, her name is Sandra. Sandra. Yes. And how old is she? Uh, she is 43 years old. 43 years old. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Victor. Guillermo. Okay. Hello. Hello, Guillermo. How old are you? Uh, hi, I'm Guillermo. Uh, I am uh, 34 years old. You are 34 years old. Okay. What is your wife's name? What is your wife's name? El nombre de su esposa. What is your wife's name? Okay, okay. She, um, her name is Teresa. Ah. I, I bet she's beautiful. Sorry. Is she, is she beautiful? Beautiful. Es hermosa? Is she beautiful? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, she is. She is a horrible person. It's a wonderful person. Yes, she looks. Uh -huh. She looks like that. Okay. And you, do you have children? Uh, yes. Yes. One or two or three. Two. 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 Two children. Two boys. Yes. Two girls. Or one boy uh, and one girl. Uh, two girls. Two girls. What are their names? Uh, what are the, their, uh, their, their names? Um, one, um, six, six years six old. Years old. Okay, uh, their names, Guillermo, Guillermo, listen. What are their names? Your ah, name, uh, your name is Guillermo. Yes. Your wife's uh, name is Teresa. Her what name are... is Valentina. Valentina, uh huh. Uh, her is uh, Valeria. Valentina and Valeria. Their names are Valentina and Valeria. Your daughter's names are Valentina and Valeria. How old is Valentina? Um, she is six. Six. She is six. She is six. In, Valen in Valeria? Uh, she is nine. She is nine. Okay, very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Let's see, Rafa. Rafa, are you married? Are yes. You married? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Do you have children? Yes. Yes, oh. one. One boy or One. girl? Girl. It's a girl. What's her name? Uh, she his name. Uh, Kristen. Her name. Her name. Her name. Kristen. Is Kristen. Kristen. And what? And how old is she? Ten. Uh, 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 Ten years old. She's ten years old. Okay. 
Thank you, Rafa, and everyone for your participation. <laughs> ah, okay, good. You are speaking English already. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, now, guys, yesterday, ayer estuvimos aprendiendo acerca del who's, ¿se acuerdan? Who's, 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 y luego veíamos la estructura. ¿Para, para qué usábamos el who's? Para preguntar de quién. Cabal, para preguntar de quién es algo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, whose, la estructura es whose, luego el noun, que es el objeto. Y si es singular, preguntamos is it. Y si es plural. They are they. Are they. Y aquí están los ejemplos. ¿Quién me lee, el, me lee los ejemplos, Teresita? Whose pen is it? It Ajá. is my pen. Exactly. It, Or it is Ernesto. It's Ernesto. Uh -huh. También, ¿se acuerdan que aprendimos que lo podemos hacer así? Es de Ernesto. Ok. Y en plural, ¿me los lee Who's... Fernando? Plural. Whose pencil are they? They are my pencil. Or they are currents. They are currents, exactly. Yes. Okay, another example. Whose cell phone is this? Whose? Look at me. Look at me. Vean a me. Look at me. Whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is teacher. It is. Ah, is it? It is my cell phone. No, it's not your cell phone. Your cell phone. It's your cell phone. Yes, it's mine. It's mine. Okay. Ustedes pueden decir, it is yours. O pueden decir, it is the teachers. Ok. Now, in plural. Whose cell phones are these? Whose cell phones are they? Or whose cell phones are they? Or whose cell phones are these? They are cell phones? Yeah. No. The teacher. Ajá, solo sería they are the teachers o they are Rocíos o they are George son suyos they are, they are Rocíos they are Rocíos exactly, very nice they are Rocíos they are the teachers o they are hers o de ella, they are hers ok bye More examples. Whose book is this? Whose car are you driving? Oops, sorry. Whose car are you driving? Whose car are you driving? It's the company's car. It's the company's car. Exacto. La pregunta, the question who's, the noun, and the complement. Aquí sería, ¿el carro de quién estás manejando? El de la compañía. O el de la empresa. Whose dog is that? ¿De quién es ese perro? It's my mom's dad. It's my mom's dad. Dog. It's my mom's dog. <laughs> ok, good. Ahora, vamos a escribir unos ejemplos de preguntas. Vamos a escribir algunos aquí en el chat. Y usen el whose, luego, ¿qué va? Whose plus, noun plus, si es singular, is this. Y si es plural, are these or are they. A ver, escribamos tres preguntas cada uno. 
tres preguntas cada uno. Ok, I'm going to wait here. Only question, teacher. The questions and the answers. Let's see whose car is that? Whose bike are you riding? Whose shoes? Ah, okay, Teresita. ¿Qué decíamos de los shoes, scissors, earrings, bands, jeans, eh, gloves? Ayer, yesterday. Los que van en pares son plurales. Entonces, los shoes serían whose shoes are these? Whose shoes are these, Teresita? Okay. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, whose shorts are these? Eh, el these en plural. También Eric. Whose cat is that? That's correct. Sería entonces así. Whose shoes are these? And whose shorts are these? Uh, they are, they are Guillermo, they are in pairs. They are in pairs. Okay, good. Whose computer is this? It's yours. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to send you, les voy a enviar un ejercicio para que lo hagan después. Oh, my family. Thank you for sharing your family. Rafa, no lo había visto, the picture. Your wife and your daughter. Okay, I have here one exercise to practice this. You can do it later, right? I will send it to you. Es to practice who's. Okay, that would be your homework.
Guillermo sería, they are in pairs. In pairs. Good. Whose, whose fruit is that, Rafael? Sería así. Whose fruit is that? Whose picture is that? Who, uh, en la última, no, eh, no sé si se le, le faltó ahí algo. Le faltó el objeto. En la última, o los objetos. Rafa. Fíjense en la estructura. Yo les puse en la estructura. Miren cómo va. Who's, el noun, y luego el verbo. Okay, whose bottle of water is this? And that's correct. That's correct. Entonces, Rafa, en su caso, mire, sería whose fruit is this? ¿O ¿Quién es esta fruta? Whose fruit is this? Or who, whose fruit is that? Or whose fruit is that? Ajá, no me acordaba si era. ¿Ok? No, ok. Ajá. Who's that picture? Ok. Whose picture is that? Entonces, primero el whose, luego el objeto y luego el verbo. ¿Mm? Great. Okay. Thank you so much for practicing. Guys, do you have your cup of coffee? I already finished my cup of coffee. Did you? Did you drink water? Drink water, please. You need the water, right? You need oxygen for your brain. <laughs> okay, it's time to stretch out. Time to stretch out, stand up, or stretch out, close your eyes, move your hands and fingers, okay, move your neck, your neck, nice, very nice, good, good, okay. Let's continue. Now we're going to continue with the different seasons. The seasons. The seasons. For example, we have a spring, summer, fall, and winter. In the world, around the planet, around the world, there are four seasons. Four seasons. Spring, summer, fall and winter but in El Salvador in our country we only have two seasons in our country El Salvador only we have only two seasons what are the two seasons that we have in El Salvador can somebody tell me what are the two seasons we have in El Salvador do we have a spring or summer? Uh, summer. Summer. We have summer and? Mm, rain. Ah, and the rainy season, which is the winter. Okay, the, we have only summer and winter. But the winter in El Salvador is only uh, the rain. Solo la lluvia, it's only the rain. We don't have the snow. No tenemos la nieve, we don't have the snow because we live in a tropical country. We are, in a, we are living in a tropical country. So we only have the summer and the winter. But in other places like United States, they have the spring, the summer, the fall, and the winter. And we can see here in the picture, it's a spring in Brazil. It's warm, está calientito, it's warm, and it's very sunny. It's 
summer in Korea, it's raining, it's hot and humid. So in Korea, the summer is very hot and humid. In the USA, we have it's fall. In the USA, it's cool. It's cool. Like when it's here in November, right? In November here, it's cool. It's cloudy and windy. Cool quiere decir fresco. Cloudy. A ver, ¿quién me dice que es cloudy? It's cloudy. Nublado. 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 And windy. Hace viento. Exactly. Hace viento. Yes, thank you, Pedro. Now, another picture. It's winter in Russia. The temperature is low. It's snowing and it's very cold. It's snowing means. Que está nevando. Está nevando. Es muy, muy helado. Entonces, si queremos decir en El Salvador que está fresco, que el clima está así como heladito, pero no heladito como en Rusia, no la like Russia. We say it's cool. It's a nice weather, oh. right? In Ataco, Apaneca, we see those places. It's el Pital. Cool. It's okay, but if you go to El Pital in, in winter, in the evenings or in the mornings, it can be very cool that you need a sweater. If you need a sweater, it's cold. Okay? If you need a sweater, it's... It's not. It's, it's a cold. Cold. It's cold. It's cold. Pero si está fresco y no necesita sweater, it's... It's cold. It's cool. Right? It's, it's cool. Okay. And it's very hot. And it's sunny. When it's, mucho calor. it's sunny. What's the weather sunny. like today? ¿Cómo está el clima hoy? What's the weather like today? Cool. 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 The sun is cloudy. It's sunny, eh? In cloudy. In cloudy. In okay. cloudy. Here, I live in Los, in Los Planes, on the way to Los Planes de Renderos, and today yeah. it's sunny and hot. Um, sunny. Yesterday, yesterday, I guess, was cloudy and cool. And in the evening, rainy. But in this moment, it's sunny and hot. Okay? <laughs> it's sunny and hot. Entonces, vamos a escribir aquí todas las palabras en la siguiente diapositiva, lo van a ver. We have the seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall or autumn. Otto, sería invierno. Spring. ¿Qué es spring? Ayúdenme, yo sé que sabe. Primavera. Primavera. Yes, yes. And summer? Verano. Autumn? Otoño. Wow. Otoño, que también se dice fall. Ok, autumn. autumn or fall. Winter, oh. repeat after me. Winter. Winter. Spring. Winter. Spring, summer, summer, autumn. autumn. What do you prefer, the winter or the summer? What do you prefer? Winter. The winter. Yes. <laughs> Spring. Okay. We have the typical vocabulary associated with each. Seasons. Aquí está el vocabulario asociado con cada estación. Tenemos cold days in winter, snow en algunos países, snow, the rain, like the rain, lluvia, 
you need an umbrella. Necesito una sombrilla. Umbrella. Clothes. If you go to El Sal. Or if you go to Guatemala. It's a closed car. Right? If you are in... In a bufanda. Scarf, yes. If you go to United States or Canada, you can go skiing. In the mountains. And, and also, when it's winter, we like to drink hot drinks. Hot drinks like chocolate. Hot chocolate. Ch chocolate. Hot chocolate or hot tea. Co coffee. Or coffee, yes. Okay, now, spring, we have warm days. Días calientes, calurosos, warm days. We can see a lot of flowers, flowers, flowers butterflies. butterflies. You see nests, los nidos, nests, rainbows, arcoiris, rainbows. You can do some gardening. Usted puede hacer jardinería, gardening on the spring. Some people in United States go allergies. They go allergies because of the pollen, right? They go allergies, and we can see some baby animals in this season. In the summer, we have half days, like March and April, half days. People go to the beach, you have vacation, you can go camping, you eat a lot of ice cream, you wear sunglasses, you wear sunscreen, protection, protector solar sunscreen, and you can go to the swimming pool. You can go to the swimming pool. Now, for autumn or fall, we have cool days, like in November, December. Ah, vaya. Cool days, días frescos, leaves fall, la caída de las hojas, leaves fall. The wind, the wind, like in October. Before it was in October, now it's like in November. The wind, los vientos, the wind, the harvest, es el tiempo de la cosecha, harvest. Eh, rake, es lo que se, es el instrumento eh, ay, para barrer las hojas. Can, can you help me? The Spanish, el rastrillo, rake. Alcorn, son unas, son las bellotas que caen de los árboles. Clouds and pumpkins, it's the time of the pumpkin, right? Okay, so this is the vocabulary. You can take a screenshot, the vocabulary for the season. Okay? Pero aquí a un ladito les voy a poner eh, weather words. You can write, you can take notes in your notebook. The weather words. What's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Hey, what is the weather like today in Santa Ana? You can say, hot, it's warm, it's, it's rainy, está lluvioso, it's cloudy, it's a uh, warm, rainy, cloudy, it's cool, or it's cold, it's, um, let's see, cloudy, cool, cold, it's foggy, sometimes the weather is foggy, It's foggy when, for example, you are driving and you can't see, you can see it's like white.
So those are the words. What's the weather like today? You can say it's hot, it's warm, it's rainy, cloudy. Oh, I'm missing it's sunny. Está soleado, it's sunny. It's cool, it's cold, it's foggy. So those are the different words that you can use to explain, to describe the weather. Anoten, anoten. Okay. Can I continue now? Yeah. Yes, no, yes. maybe. Okay. Now there is a conversation here and the conversation is very cold. A otra que se me olvidó poner es it's windy. Se me olvidó ponerles it's windy, pero la pueden escribir ustedes. Ahí se me olvidó, me ayudaron ustedes. It's windy, es que hay mucho viento. Y esa imagen la puede compartir. Es la conversación. La anterior. Ya se las compartí en el WhatsApp. Ah, ok, gracias. You're welcome. No sé si la logran ver. Revista. Yeah. Okay, so that is a conversation between Pat and Yuli again. Remember, they were in the in the laundry. And, and they had a problem with clothes. How are you? Now. But now we have this, this uh, conversation. Okay? The conversation is, Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. Okay. In this conversation, we have important things that you were having, that you have in the platform. Tenemos ejercicios en la plataforma de esta. Por ejemplo, this question. Are you wearing your gloves? You are wearing your coat. I'm not wearing boots. Okay. ¿Qué significan esas oraciones? A ver quién me dice. Are you wearing your gloves? Según entiendo, le está preguntando si está usando sus guantes. Exactly, very nice. And in the no next one, Rosita. Are you wearing Le pregunta si está usando. Oh, el abrigo coat. No, es coat ah, el abrigo Ajá. y abajo le dice Pat le dice que no no estoy usando mi bota exacto no, no, llevo, no llevo botas exacto entonces lo que les explicaba ayer es que cuando hablamos de la ropa ¿qué verbo vamos a usar? el verbo the verb well. Where. Where, yes, W. Where. 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 I am wearing. What are you wearing today? Y decíamos, I am wearing a blouse. I am wearing a cap. I am wearing a t-shirt. I am wearing a tie. Okay. Entonces aquí en la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Sure. Exactly. Shorts, etc. Good. Vamos a seguir practicando esto in the next slide. Bye.
si se fijan en esas, en esas oraciones y preguntas que les había señalado, se usa el, el verbo where, pero con ing y el verbo to be y el ing. Eso se llama present continuous. Ya vimos el verbo to be, ver to be así solito, simple. Hoy lo vamos a ver como present continuous. El present continuous is what we are doing in the moment. Lo que se está haciendo en el momento. In the moment, in the present. Por eso se llama present progressive or present continuous. Es lo que está haciendo in that moment. En ese momento. In that moment. Right now. Right now. And we have the examples. I am not. I am or I am not. You are or you're not. She is or she's not. We are or we're not. They are or they're not. Y ahí está el ejemplo. Vea. She's wearing shoes. She's not wearing boots. It's snowing. It's snowing. It is not raining. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a, al verbo. Eh, solo le vamos a agregar el ing. Vamos a ver otros ejemplos. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Subject, verb to be, y el verbo en ing form, y el complemento. Y aquí, por ejemplo, tenemos different verbs. Teach, que está enseñar. Learn, aprender. Work, ¿qué significa work? El verbo work. Trabajo. Trabajar. Trabajo. Cook. Cocinar, cocinar. Rain. Correr. Correr. Use. Usar. Usar. Está usando una computadora. Usar. Ajá. Pay. Pay Correr. attention. Poner atención. Poner atención. Pay attention. No es put attention. Ok. <ríe> Pay attention. And study. Estudiar. 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 Muy bien. Esos son los verbos normales. Pero ahorita lo vamos a usar en el... Vamos a conjugar estos verbos en el presente progresivo. Es decir, lo que estoy haciendo en este momento. Todos los verbos es el endo, ¿verdad? Esto o el ando o el endo. Ando o endo. I am teaching an online class. Estoy enseñando una clase en línea. I'm teaching an online class. You are studying and learning about the present continuous. My husband is working in this moment. He's not at home. He's working in this moment. My mom is cooking the lunch very late. It is not raining right now. We are using a computer or cell phone to have the class. You are paying attention to the teacher, I guess. I hope so, that you are paying attention to me in this moment. The children are studying in the school. Okay? Entonces, yo les pregunto, what are you doing in this moment? What are you doing? I'm watching my cell phone. Excellent. I am watching my cell phone. ¿Qué más? What else? What else? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? I'm studying. I'm studying right now. Exactly. You are studying. Yeah. Because you are very smart and intelligent. You are studying. I'm drinking a coffee. You are drinking coffee. Okay. Good. What is the teacher doing? The teacher is uh, drinking coffee. Okay. What is the teacher doing? The teaching is uh, speaking. Uh, calling, uh, calling me. 
answering the phone. <laughs> she is answering the phone or she's talking on the phone. She's calling okay, her the mother. Phone. Okay, another one. What I am what am I doing? Uh, study English. No. What a, uh, ah, sorry, no me veía. <laughs> what I'm doing is What is the teacher doing? Uh, she's writing. ¿Cómo se, ¿Cómo se dice escribir en el teléfono? O escribir en una Writing. computadora. Typing. 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 Miren, typing. Writing. Writing. Miren, typing. Writing es con lápiz, cero, lápiz, en el cuaderno, en un papel. Hasta en la okay. mano. Pero cuando es en una máquina, en un teléfono, o en la computadora ahí, typing. 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 Oh, Ahora, what, uh, what is your family doing in this moment? Right now. Right now. For tell me, escriban. Díganmelo o escriban. My mother is cooking the dinner. My wife uh, is working. Your wife right is working, okay? And my children's, uh, uh, driving. My family are drinking a coffee. Oh, your family is having a coffee. They are drinking coffee. Nice. And you? And you, Paul? You're not drinking coffee? You should have your coffee there. Uh huh. What else? My brother is working. My cat is sleeping. My, my, my wife is working. Your wife is working. Okay. Uh, my daughter is working in the bar. My, my son is. Watching in the movie in, in his room, and my mother is working, and I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's it. that's it. Very nice. My niece is that's doing it. her homework. Aquí han puesto uno. My wife is cooking the chicken. Mm, delicious. <laughs> you will have a delicious dinner, Eric. Ah, and you're drinking water. I'm drinking water, so I have water and coffee. Okay, nice. Of en la plataforma hay un ejercicio de sonidos y se tiene que, tiene que poner qué está haciendo. No sé si ya lo hicieron, ya deberían haberlo hecho. Yes, solo hay, hay uno que no se entiende ahí mucho. ¿Cuál? Which one? No me acuerdo. El último, no me acuerdo ¿no? el último es ese. She's typing. El último. She's typing. Escribir. Ajá, typing. Ah, pero es que no lo entendía mucho. El último. She's typing. The number six. Okay. ¿Y qué es eso? Ok. Good. Good. Vaya, entonces, tienen que, tienen que hacer qué está haciendo su familia en este momento. Escriban, escriban en su cuaderno y le toman una foto y me lo mandan. What's your family doing in this moment? What's your family doing in this moment? Ponle aquí.
Y mientras lo escriben, les voy a poner aquí algunas reglas. Rules for the, the ING. Ok, for the spelling of ING verbs. Hay, unos, hay unas reglas. Vamos a ver cuáles son. Okay, for example, if the verbs and okay, verb and being in e drop kita drop the e at ing. Example right seria writing This is the rule number 1 Otro ejemplo sería Vamos a ver otro ejemplo, example write writing Veamos otro terminando en i Type, sería typing. But rule number two, that's the rule number one. Okay, the rule number two is verb ending. No, la normal sería at ing to the verb. read reading cook cooking mm. vamos otra walk walking go Going, do, doing. Vamos a ver otra regla. Ver ending in why like in study or cry at ing we see the example study crying crying trying Very nice. Entonces, quizás la regla más difícil es, ni la más difícil, ¿verdad? es que tienen que acordarse. Si el verbo termina en E, quitan la E y le ponen el ING. Very nice. Very nice. 
Ah, okay. There is one more rule. Mandaba quedando. Okay. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Esto se llaman CVC verbs. Double, double the last consonant and add ing. Example, cut, cutting, put, putting. Uh, let's see another one. Run. Okay, run, running. Stop hopping. Okay, but those are for the, the verbs who are just one syllable. One syllable. This is my word. One syllable and consonant, vowel, consonant. Verb. Okay. Nos lo, puede, nos lo puede mandar al chat. <laughs> okay. Por, yes, También les voy a mandar una imagen para que de, o un ejercicio con que lo tenga. Son tamales and avocados. <laughs> okay. One pisque. <laughs> pisque. Oh, they are so so delicious. Tamales <laughs> and avocado. <laughs> tamales and avocados. They are so delicious. Okay, I will send you guys one exercise that you can do to practice this. Mm -hmm. You will see there the rules and also a exercise. Okay. Did you finish? Okay, 
Les voy a poner aquí unos ejercicios. Vamos a ver cómo se están. Quiero poner unos ejercicios. Ahorita, ahorita. Y me voy a poner, guys. Ya se los pongo. So today, guys, you learn the present continuous. The present continuous. What is the structure of the present continuous? Subject, verb to be, plus the verb in the ing form, plus the complement. Okay, don't forget. So we have here an exercise. What is he doing? What is he doing? ¿Cómo sería aquí? El verbo está aquí. Sit. Sitting. Ah, pero ¿qué le falta? He, ah, he is sitting. Ah, he is sitting. How do you spell sitting? T-S-I-T. Uh, T, uh -huh. T, 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 okay, because it's a consonant, vowel sound, and I, consonant. So I double the consonant. He is sitting at his desk. He is sitting at his desk. Number two, listen, someone. The verb no, is knock. Not, Someone? Nothing. Someone? Nothing. Someone? Nothing. Is, is not hey, no. knocking at the door. Someone is knocking at the door. Someone is knocking at the door. It's like the sound not, of not, Guns N' Roses. Knock, knock, yeah, yeah. knocking on heaven's door. Heaven, knock, knock, knocking. Knocking on, but on heaven's door, but this knocking up the door. Thanks. Number three, on my way home, I usually ah. Okay. I I drink something. O T I. Que en este en este ejercicio no es del no es present continuous. Porque es uh, usually, algo que usualmente hago, no lo que estoy haciendo en el momento. Entonces, este no es present continuous. Lo vamos a tachar. Este no me sirve ahorita. Ok. So, the next one. Architect. Is making. Architects. Making are, 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 are making, 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 She's playing, playing. She's playing the piano. She's playing the piano. And number six, at this moment, I am correcting. I am. I am correcting my pupils' exercises. Pupils, you are my pupils. 
or you are my student. You are my pupil. I am correct in ING. I am correcting my pupil exercise. Yay, it's very nice, it's very nice. Good guys. So what did you learn in this class? A ver, ¿quién me dice que aprendió en este plan? Ay, cómo suspiran. Número Pablo. El presente continuo. El número Pablo. The season of the year. The season. The season uh, of the year. The season. Um, the present continuous. Present continuous. What else? Las estaciones. The seasons. Uh -huh. The rebaño. The age. Yes. How old are you? How old is your dog? How old is your baby? Right? Question with whose? The questions with whose? Exactly. It's a little bit complicated at the at the, the first times. <laughs> okay, good. A ver, cuéntenme, ¿cómo van con la plataforma? One hundred percent. Excuse me. One hundred. One hundred percent. Yes, that's Congratulations. It. That's great. And the others? Thank you, teacher. <laughs> También vi que los ejercicios. Los que les di, los que les dejé. Yeah, great for you. Great for you. Okay, so I hope you can do the exercises. Thank you. The homework, the today's homework. La tarea que les dejé hoy. Wow, teacher. Ahí les mandé los enlaces. Se los voy a puntear. Los que son homework. I will see you. Homework. I will see you. And homework. Okay. <laughs> Good. Two. Yes. Two, two links with exercises. Two links with exercise mm -hmm. to do the homework. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any questions about, I don't know, maybe uh, exercises in the platform, something. Algo que tengan por allí, any doubts, alguna duda? Oh, so far so good. So far so good? Great. <laughs> okay, yo creo que con la clase de hoy ya, ya creo que despejamos bastantes dudas, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, nice. Eh, ¿Cómo se han sentido en las clases? ¿Cómo siente que va en su progreso? Ahí vamos de a poquito. He mejorado bastante. Step by step, yeah. little by little. Solo que habíamos, poco. Ha, habíamos más participantes. Hoy miro que vemos poco. Solo han quedado los valientes. <laughs> yeah, you will continue, right? Never give up. Never give up. No se rinda. Nunca se rinda. Never give up. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for connecting to the class. I see you next week. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.